Hey guys, this is going to be a real quick video on how to get your, um, you know, we, we, we did a video on, on getting um, your telemetry to, to uh, be transmitted over the 4G connection on your, on your phone for unlimited range. Um, and this is just a real quick uh, addition to that. Um, a lot of people have been asking me how to do uh, FPV over over internet, so I'm just going to go into that. Uh, this is a real kind of watered down uh, explanation. Um, it's everything that that you need if you already have connected uh, your uh, your telemetry over internet. So so I'm just going to go real quick. Um, I have uh, an illustration set up. So uh, basically, how it works is you have a, a an Android device that is on the drone itself. So that's going to be this this phone here, and then you have your ground station Android device. That's going to be this phone here. So, for il illustrative purposes, I have a a baby drone here, and that's going to represent the drone, uh, the 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 Android device that's on actually flying along with the drone. So I'm probably going to put it on this Hexa, but um, just for illustrative purposes, we have this next to the phone and that's going to represent that so uh, FPV is actually surprisingly simple so I'm just going to connect real quick I'm not going to actually go into how I connect over over the internet but basically um, if you watch the the other video um, connecting over 4G you'll, you'll see the, the process in a lot greater detail so I'm going to go ahead and con connect so this is your drone this is your so this is actually going to be what the the, the camera that uh, or excuse me, oh, oh, I don't know, I accidentally almost hit the power off button. So this is going to be, uh, the FPV camera is actually going to be the camera that is on the, on your Android device. So in this case, I'm using the Motorola Droid X. And uh, we're going to go ahead and connect. So I'm going to connect to the server, clicking Validated access code. Connecting to server. Connected. Okay, so that's connected. And now, imagine that being on the drone, right? That That's flying. Mm, that's flying, right? So this over here is your ground station. So you're on the ground, and you're going to do the same thing. So we're going to connect. Validated access code. Connecting to server. Connected. Okay, so now once those are connected, it, it's going to automatically find the one that's in the air so in the air sending a signal to the satellite back down to this one right now in order to get FPV we need a way to access the camera uh oh battery low you see that oh battery low battery low <laughs> so maybe maybe it's a sign to hurry up with this uh, real real quick tutorial so anyway so basically what how to get FPV over the internet we're gonna need to set up like a webcam basically so you're going to access the camera that's on the um, that's on the drone uh, the air station what I like to call it and then you're going to be able to view that camera on your ground station so if they are all connected it should be as simple as pressing the FPV button here so I'm gonna go ahead and press it XT1080 drone added and then it's going to find in this case, mine is the XT1080 because that's what the droid, the default name for the droid, uh, the Motorola droid phone. So now when we have that screen up and it says XT1080 added or whatever, phone, you know, whatever uh, name it's assigned uh, your phone to, then you go ahead and hit FPV or you uh, bring up the, so hold on, let me, let me show that again. So here, let me back up. All right. Let me back up. Ground station mode okay, activated. Okay, so this is the wipe off those smudges. Disconnected. Oh, I accidentally disconnected. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me connect again. So connect. Come on. Come on. Come on, connect. Validated access code. All right, Connecting so, to server. Connected. So we all connected now. So basically, hit FPV. XT1080 drone added. It's going to say drone added. That's the first step. If it doesn't say that, then you've got to connect first. After that, then you go ahead and bring that tab and scroll or uh, kind of swipe that up. And then it'll bring up your selection. So 
we want to get to XT 1080. So basically, you're going to tap that, tap, tap that, and then it's going to bring up, <coughs> excuse me, it's going to bring up like a little OSD <coughs> screen here. And then you are just going to click the shoot button. And then you're going to bring up the FPV again. And then there's a little FPV uh, icon here. Video on. Click that, and you should have video. Now, now we have, here, I'm going to try to prop this up here. Oh, so imagine being on the ground, right? You're on the ground. I'm going to try to prop that up so, so you guys can see that. You're on the ground, and your plane is in the air. So I'm going to click shoot. Cannot take images. And there it goes. It told me it cannot take images, but it's, it's doing it. So there is your FPV. So basically, um, it's this phone. Imagine this in the nose of the plane or the, qu or the quad or hexacopter or, you know, whatever flying machine you're using. And, uh, and look, so this is your... Now these are connected over the internet, so FPV is actually working. So this is the original, right? And then this is the internet connected image. So original image, internet connected image. Not bad, huh? Original image, internet connected image. And the updates are, are, are pretty, pretty quick. It's like, watch, you'll see there's, of course there's a delay. But it's it's minimal. Look, watch. I'm gonna tilt. See? So it's like I don't know, like a tenth of a second maybe. Watch tilt, and then it tilts. Tilt, tilt, tilt. So it'd be kind of scary, like if you're flying close proximity or something like that. But if you're up in the sky, like it, you know, you shouldn't have any problems like avoiding things. Tilt, tilt, tilt. See? Tilt, tilt. So, so there you have it. FPV is, is actually really easy. And that's unlimited FPV, which is great. Anyway, real quick tutorial. Just wanted to show you guys. Um, I'll actually do a, a, an in-depth one showing you how to connect initially to everything. Um, anyway, uh, hope this helps someone out there. All right. Have a good night. Bye.